Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Irish Mathematical Olympiad 2002 problem number 5. Let A, B and C be numbers strictly between 0 and 1. We wish to prove the following inequality, A over 1 minus A plus B over 1 minus B plus C over 1 minus C is greater than or equal 3 times cube root of ABC over 1 minus cube root of ABC. And moreover, uh, discuss when equality happens. So, my hints for this problem. It's a classic problem, I'd say. First of all, make the following substitution. a equals e to the power of x, b, to the, b equals e to the power of y, c equals e to the power of z, where e is obviously Euler's number. Uh, for some numbers x, y, and z. And then consider the following function f of t equals f of t equals e to the power of t over 1 minus e to the power of t and express our inequality which we wish to demonstrate in terms of function f then use the second derivative to establish where our function is convex and crucially it will be obvious if you recognize it use Jensen's inequality. It will be pretty clear that it's a, that we want to use Jensen's inequality once we express our inequality in terms of function f. So give this problem a try and I will see you in a minute. Okay, so my my solution. As I suggested, let a be equal e to the power of x, b equals e to the power of y, c equals e to the power of z, or, and let's see, remember that a, b, and c are between 0 and 1, well, well since they are bigger than 0, this uh, substitution works, and since they are less than 1, we know that exponential function is less than 1 on the interval minus infinity 0. So we know that x, y, and z are negative numbers. Okay, and now let's put it into our inequality. So we have the following, e to the power of x, 1 minus e to the power of x, plus e to the power of y, 1 minus e to the power of y plus e to the power of z 1 minus e to the power of z is greater than or equal 3 times and here we'll have e to the power x plus y plus z over 3 1 minus e to the power x plus y plus z over 3 by manipulations, you know, when we multiply e times x times e times e to the power of y, we are adding exponents and so on. Obvious. And now, let's see, we have a very similar expressions. Uh, only, the only difference is that we have here x, here y, here z, and here the arithmetic mean, which suggests very clearly that we should define the following function. Let f of t, let's say, be equal e to the power of c, t, sorry, 1 over, over 1 minus e to the power of t, or, well, for negative numbers. And our inequality is equivalent to the following. f of x, plus f of y plus f of z over 3, because I'm dividing by this number, greater than or equal f of x plus y plus z over 3. Okay, how to prove it? Well, bells should be ringing if you know Jensen's inequality. If our function, if our function is convex, this inequality is implied directly by Jensen's inequality. So the only thing to do now is to check if our function is 
convex. How to do it? By differentiation, of course. So to show that f is convex, we will use uh, second derivative v second derivative and now comes the boring part you know the drill i i, I hope that you know how to differentiate a simple function if you don't uh, please consult your local calculus textbook uh, so here is our original function the first derivative the first derivative happens to be e to the power of t 1 minus e to the power of t squared and the second derivative the second derivative will be well will be the following e to the power 2 times t plus e to the power of t over 1 minus e to the power of t cubed after some simplifications it's pretty easy to derive this second derivative and now let's notice that since t is a negative number our denominator is positive so this this part is positive because t is strictly less than uh, zero strictly less than zero the numerator is obviously positive so everything is strictly positive which means which means by well-known fact from mathematical analysis that f is strictly strictly convex on the set of negative numbers okay and now it's time to use Jensen's inequality by Jensen's inequality by Jensen's inequality f of uh, x plus y plus z over 3 is less than uh, f of x plus f of y plus f of z over over and moreover, Jensen's inequality states also when equality is attained. Moreover, moreover, equality happens. Equality is attained if and only if if and only if our three numbers are equal. Why is that? Because our function was, was strictly for convex. And x equals y equals z, let's go back. Uh, that also means that a, b, and c are equal. So, i.e., it is a equals b equals c. So now we know that our inequality is in fact true and moreover equality can happen if and only if a equals b equals c and that concludes our proof thank you for watching i hope that you've learned something uh, i hope that you are entertained i hope that you've managed to differentiate twice a simple function uh, and I will see you soon. Goodbye. Have a good day.